everyone, it is quickened and oh, it is pouring rain. It is so bad, I just got a flood warning on my phone. That is active for the next like five hours. This video is not about flooding. This video is about shopping. So Philadelphia Buffalo Exchange has invited me to come shop at their store before it opens today. And I am really, really, really excited. Um, it is really just pouring rain outside. Mm. And <laughs> I'm gonna grab the bus. It's super easy for me to get there. And it's like really centrally located. So if you go to Buffalo, you can also like go to Sephora afterwards and stuff. So I'm heading over to Buffalo Exchange now. I have like my most waterproof shoes are also like I don't know, my toughest shoes, and in the last 10 seconds this happened. So I'm just gonna wear a hat, my, my winter coat is my most waterproof coat. Grab the bus and head out. I got my reusable bag, I got my umbrella, I got some chickens, I'm ready to go to Buffalo Exchange. So I always like to check out the shoes first, and they actually start at my size, which is great. Um, I've never been to this Buffalo Exchange, they actually recently moved, so how cute. Sorry, I know I look like Mac DeMarco and Logic all in one. So they told me to check out the shoes for sure, and then I think I'm also going to check out like kind of easy dresses to like throw on for spring and summer and some stuff that'll look cute for work um and then definitely want to check out shoes a little bit and then what's cool is they also have some like higher valued things up front and i like buying second hand stuff like that too so i'm gonna check that out um and yeah everything is like really well organized and stuff i was like what's something really cool in the store right now and she said all of their vintage stuff was really like happening and I was like what's unique about Philadelphia's store and she said that you know Philly we have a style like a streetwear kind of style which is totally true so that's super exciting so I'm gonna pop around and grab some cool stuff like this is pretty cool definitely my style the 11 dress. Welcome back, everybody. I love you, boy. I love you. Got a little cat food in his little beard. He's got a little cat food in his beard. Welcome back, everybody. We are home now. We are home now from Buffalo Exchange, and I just want to share with you guys all the things that I picked out. So if you didn't know, um, I was invited to shop at Philadelphia Buffalo Exchange in exchange for this video, and I'm super, super, super excited. If you're not familiar with Buffalo Exchange, they are a secondhand retail store where you can go in with your like used clothing and exchange it for either trade or store credit or cash. And what I really like about Buffalo Exchange is 
they're really in trend and they try to stay really constant with everything and even while I was there they recognize like a lot of online brands too which I think is really unique so everyone who works there they're really familiar with fashion everybody I talked to who worked there was super nice and super helpful with me and it's just like such a cool curated space like I feel like you can't go to a lot of like other thrift stores or resale or consignment stores and you'll see like unif on the shelves or you'll see like boohoo stuff like you it's it's different and it's cool and it's modern and it's really i'm really excited um really uh, it's really awesome that they invited me and that they are a really cool philadelphia store and i'm just like super honored and stoked to bring you the rest of this video so i'm going to show you some of the pieces i got I tried to make it a little well-rounded, grab like grab a couple outfits and different styles. I talked to the manager and I was like, hey, like what sets your Philadelphia store apart from maybe other stores in like New York, Washington, Portland? And she said that Philadelphia has like a big streetwear influence and she said that like Timberlands are really popular in the store, um, which like you don't know it like, when she said that I was like, oh my God, Philly, I belong here. So. I'm just going to show you a couple of the pieces I grabbed. So starting off, one of the first things I look for in the store, I always go to the shoe section. So I have pretty small feet. So being able to shop, like being able to shop secondhand and like recycled kind of fashion for me, like it's always great to look at shoes. So the first thing I found were these. And these are Forever 21 brand, but they are a faux leather. And these are in a five and a half, which if you have small feet, you might know that like, either these are the first to go or the store just like never stocks them. So I thought that these were super cute, especially for summer. They have a closed toe so I could wear them at work or just like bopping around the city. And these are either like super lightly used or the person who bought them, it looks like they were just in their closet and they never decided to wear them. Like you can still see like the residue of the sticker on the bottom. So this is pretty exciting for me. I think I would either style these with like fishnet socks or like some nice like cute frilly white socks. And for summer, these are, these are it. Oh, the next thing I grabbed are these pants. So Buffalo Exchange, they even on their wall, they said that there's like a big stress on denim. They're always accepting denim. And I was like, all right, like if denim is their specialty, then I definitely want to check something out. I'm somebody who has kind of a hard time shopping for pants. So it was like, honestly, the last thing I checked out, but you'll see it's something that I actually shop the section, that section I actually shop the most. So I found a lot of hits. I tried everything on. I was super comfortable and everything. So it's cool to have a wide variety of things. There's actually little buyer's regret, but there was these straight leg pants that I guess like Coachella did a collab with like a denim company and they had like stars on the knees. They should have grabbed them. <laughs> I, the first thing I have are these pants and they are like cropped at the bottom and they are just so cute. So they are old navy flare mid rise and, and I love the fit of these. And normally like a mid-rise to me is like, oh, I'm not even going to bother trying those on. Like I only want to wear a super high rise. Like that's just like what flatters my body shape the most. But these were actually super cute and they were only $8. So I have all the tags right here. I took all the tags off to wash everything. But these were only $8 and although they're from Old Navy, so they don't retail much like higher than that just going there and feeling comfortable in them like i love the crop detail at the bottom and they kind of flare out and i just i love the way it's like like you can see the silhouette of my hips but then the way the pants flare out just like everything is accommodated and looks very good so mm, we love these i love these with like either a sock to completely cover the ankle or just having that ankle out I would say like even as a little fashion risk, like I wore black socks, but if you hit them with like a bright white sock, I promise you it'll look cool. So the next thing I have, and it is this t-shirt like this. And at first, so at first I saw this shirt 
and I passed it up and I was like, mm, I'm not sure. And then I kept thinking about it and I was like, actually, I really like this shirt. When I tried it on, I thought it was so cool. I was really glad I gave it a second chance. And it has pictures of three pills and it says bad for education. So if you've ever seen the movie Akira, this is a little play on the movie Akira. And I looked it up. You can see the tag says Guru Guru. And when I looked that up, this is a company that hasn't existed since 2016. And it was an online retail company only. They specialized in a lot of these like shirts like this, like pop culture, anime, cute, and then like, um, I guess like kind of horror stuff by the name. I looked it up. You can't find this shirt anywhere. Even if you go on their Instagram, which hasn't been updated since 2016, like there's not a ton of stuff about this shirt. So I thought it was really unique that I could go to Buffalo Exchange and not only did they accept a shirt like this, um, knowing that the company, you know, isn't even a company anymore. If you wanted this shirt, this is one of the only opportunities you could get it. So this shirt was only $11 and I really like it. It fits kind of cropped like that. And I think that it's a really unique design. You can see that it almost looks like you're wearing a tank top with a shirt underneath the way that it's hemmed like that. And I think it's cool. I like this like athletic collar and it's just something that I think will be really cool for work. So the next thing I have, and you may remember me posting something about this on Instagram and it is because I'm very excited about it and it is these trip pants so if you remember trip um you might be a 90s baby so trip used to be this company like they would sell it at hot topic and i i swear when i was in middle school i saw it at marshall's once and had my mom buy me glow in the dark trip pants trip was like this company like a hot topic company and they had pants like this with like chain details and zippers and all this stuff like this says trip on it it has all these pockets, really cool. But the thing I remember most about Trip was, so skinny jeans did not become popular until like 2008. And before then, like if you grew up in a punk scene, you would cut all of your flare pants and like fold them in and sew them to make them skinny jeans. And this was, I don't know if this was like strictly a punk thing, but we used to all make our own skinny jeans and we didn't even call them skinny jeans. Just like, that's what you did. So Trip was one of these companies that like before their time knew that skinny jeans were cool. And look at the ankle on that. Oh, brings me back. So when I saw this, like there was just, there was just no doubt in my mind, I had to get the Trip pants. So, oh, maybe I can find a picture on my external hard drive how we used to make our own pants. Super, super skinny. Like if they, like your foot barely could fit through them, you had a good pair of pants. You were, you were in the mosh pit. So I grabbed these trip pants. The thing about these and like I washed them so they are a little tighter than they were before, but these are low rise pants. Like I said, these pants are from like the mid 2000s high rise, like high waisted jeans were not like happening yet. Like they had the skinny jean down, like they had that much, but these actually fall below my belly button in like the worst way possible, but they fit my legs and my butt perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I can fix these and I can fix them really, really easily. I really like, in my mind, I just did not want to pass these up, especially just because the waistline isn't perfect because I doubt I'll ever find like trip pants like these anywhere else. So I didn't want to pass them up. Like honestly, someone must have really just moved out of their parents' house and like went through their middle school closet but these are dope. These are such a good find. So I can really easily just take these and fold them in. But in the meantime, I'm going to be pairing these with like an oversized hoodie and a belt. And like I wear oversized t-shirts all the time and I wear oversized hoodie all the time. So in my mind, I was like, these are going to be perfect regardless because of just like the fit they are. 
They hug my legs so perfectly. It's a perfect little look for just like two dangly little punk legs and then an oversized t-shirt. So I just love these. I love the little details. There are trip jeans that are like out of control and these are definitely like way more minimal and dialed down. And I'm just super excited for the people who remember these pants to potentially have a conversation with me. So the next pair of pants I have, and these are BDG pants, which is like the Urban Outfitter pants. And these are really cute. These are high-waisted kind of distressed jeans. And like I said, I, the, I just doubled my pants collection in this haul because I really, I only have like three pairs of jeans I ever wear. So I was really excited to find denim that worked for me and my budget. So these are really cool. They have this like little like hook that reminded me of like John's like work pants. So I thought these were cool. They hit around my ankle and they're really comfortable. Definitely like distressed, oversized, comfortable, relaxed, but really, really cute. They fit me so well and I just didn't want to pass them up. So I grabbed these. I really don't have any pants that look like this. So I thought that was cool. So next, it was hard for me to pass up what the Buffalo Exchange said that they were like one of their shops, like something that's important to their shop. And these are Timberland boots. So the story behind these, um, probably around Christmas time, like John gets new boots every year and he had a Timberland gift card and he decided that he wanted to switch his work boots to Timberland brand boots. And when we were there, they had this pair of cranberry like girls Timberland boots and I was like, these are so beautiful. I love these. But I was like, you know, I, I can't buy them. So for me, like I have a pair of black Timberlands that are my like winter, my waterproof boots. Um, I got them for Christmas while I was in beauty school. Like they were like my lifeline for like the Philadelphia freezing cold winters. So when I saw these, they're, they're like brand new. They must have, you know, just maybe didn't fit the person. The inside is new. The inside says waterproof, everything like that. Like whoever had these boots previously, you know, loved them and they're in really great condition. Like the bottom is still new. And these were $35. So they were in my size, which is a size six. My Timberlands that I have from beauty school are actually a boy's Timberland boot from Amazon. I wonder sometimes if they're legit and real, but I really wanted to get these. These will have an amazing life with me. I will have these for so many years and I'll use them for utility. Like I'll use them exactly for what their purpose is. You know, if we're outside, if it's raining, if it's the winter, like things like these, like secondhand leather in my life, like I just like, I love to give it new life and show it a, a great home here. Like I know how cheesy that sounds, but I am somebody who like understands the utility of leather and I'd rather like seek it out secondhand and give it a great and amazing life in, in my home and that's when like, when I saw these, I was like, no way. Those are the exact cranberry Timberlands I wanted when we went to the store. Obviously, like I'm not a carpenter, so I can't justify buying Timberland boots every single year. But you know, my other ones are from beauty school. I think it's really, really cute to have these Timberland boots. I think it's like a Philadelphia staple. And like I said, like I'm just so, like these are my favorite thing that I got, I think out of everything. I took a picture of these and sent them to John right away. Like I'm getting a little choked up, but I don't know. I'm like really proud to have these. So I, I'm really super excited. Um, you know, we all have conflictions. Like I, like everybody can have a confliction about leather. I do think that like if you can find a really dope secondhand leather piece that you know that you will utilize in your life, like. That's something that I definitely can appreciate. So when I saw those, I was like, no way. Like they're my size, the same exact cranberry ones. It was destiny. Now that that entire spiel is over, it's time for this dress. And this dress is so, 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 so cute. The brand I have never heard of, um, Montu, Los Angeles, but it's like this frilly little dress 
and I think this dress would be super cute for like like a coffee downtown or like a little like brunchy kind of thing it has cute little pockets and a little cinched elastic waistband and it has this detail on the front I've been wanting like a shirt or something with kind of like frilly detail so when I saw this and tried it on and it fit so well I was like this is gonna be so cool and I think you know if you wanted to customize this dress and make it your own you could wear like a black long sleeve t-shirt underneath this and maybe like a quick little black detail at the bottom and you could really just make this something else if you were like feeling kind of weird about how frilly it was I'm willing to take this risk, but also feel pretty comfortable that like a cardigan could make this like almost a completely different dress. Like your friends would be like, oh no, you're wearing that frilly dress out and you got this on with a cardigan. And they're like, oh no, that's cool. But my friends would be stoked on this. I don't think anyone would have a problem. So I have two pieces left and this one was from their little vintage category. So if you are ever going to sell back to Buffalo Exchange or you're going there for a shopping trip, they did have a whole section of vintage and it's it's a little more curated than you would find at like a thrift store like they take a lot of consideration into the pieces they they pick and when I asked about this jacket they said that they really were interested in this like detail print and I thought it was so cool so this is like a little varsity jacket with the print on the bottom and the print on the cuffs and then it is um, embroidered with JJ which I think is really, really cool. Um, so I just wanted to pick this up. I don't have anything like this in my collection and I do think that like red is kind of flattering with my hair color. So girl, I went for it. So finally, the last thing I got was this pair of distressed high rise shorts. I thought that these are really cool. This is a brand I've never heard of called Celebrity Pink. I'm just assuming that's like an online brand. And these are really cute. I really like I, like I like jeans with holes in it and stuff and my black shorts from last year were really structured shorts with like a fold So I think these will be cool like a little more like Distress you can see they have that like high-rise Mom jeans sort of feel and they have a little stretch to them because you know Nobody's perfect and I think that would be really cute like one of my staples every summer is a pair of black shorts And I think that you know these are great um, these were actually, so these were actually $17.50 and before I washed them, they were brand new. They had all the tags and stuff on them, so they were marked like that, but I really like these. The other shorts I had my eye on, like, this summer are all from, like, American Eagle and stuff, so I think that these are the perfect length the perfect price for me. So that was everything from my Buffalo Exchange shopping trip. Thanks again to Buffalo Exchange for sponsoring this video. I had honestly so much fun going there and meeting everybody in the store. Everybody was super helpful. It was like pouring rain that day and everyone was still like smiling and stoked. And I think that's like a true sign of like people who love where they work. And it was such a cool environment and so like perfectly curated. It was really cool for me to find these pieces and Honestly, shopping in there, it's fun. It's like, I spent like legit like three hours in there just like carefully looking at everything and it was a ton of fun. Oh, I forgot. I got these sunglasses too. So, <laughs> thanks again to Buffalo Exchange and you guys. Let me know what your favorite piece was down below. What you like to get at Buffalo Exchange. If your city has one, I'd love to know. And if you like videos like this, thank you guys. And until next time, bye.